Hi folks, welcome back to The Plot for a little mini kind of bonus episode. I don't really do stuff like this normally, but during filming the last major episode all about problems and um, kind of lessons that I've learned, um, I also I, I recorded a load of stuff talking about silver linings and I had to cut that from the episode in the, in the end just for runtime. But um, I do think it's one of the most important lessons that I didn't get the chance to talk about and that is focusing on the positives. And in particular, I think it's really valuable to to make a note somewhere. I just do it on my phone, but actually like take a moment, step back, look at your garden and appreciate the good things, you know? Look at the nice flowers that are growing. Think about the crops that you have taken, you know, what has been successful. Even if you've had the worst year imaginable, just think about what has been good, you know, the exercise, the sun that you've had, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. And I just thought I'd show you those clips, those kind of bonus bits that I recorded last week. And I really hope you enjoy. And in terms of silver linings, you know, the tomatoes have still been giving me a really good crop. Some of the plants are much better than others. The Gardener's Delight has been doing great, you know, since it, uh, it had a little bit of a rough start. But um, I have been taking, despite all this, some really nice harvests of tomatoes and the fridge is absolutely bulging. Maybe not as many as I would have liked, but it's not the end of the world, is it? Although I was feeling a bit down about these pepper plants, the ones that have gone, the sweet peppers, I don't care for that much anyway. They're readily available. And a lot of the plants are doing pretty well. They've not got quite as much fruit on them, but the fruit that is there looks really healthy. The ones behind me, these piri piri plants looking really good in particular. So lots to be smiling about on the allotment as well. This is not a part of the plot you see very often, um, and that's because I, I hate it a little bit. There is this strawberry bed which is just full of weeds and some really sad strawberry plants. And behind that is just storage for the future greenhouse. But the thing I wanted to talk about is kind of thinking about the future. You know, that's the silver lining here. It looks crap at the moment, but when I look at it, I try, not always successfully, but I try not to think about how it is now, but what it offers in terms of opportunities for the future. Eventually this bed will be replaced very shortly, hopefully this winter, with lots of new nice strawberry plants that are actually gonna give me nice fruits. Um, hopefully I can install some netting to kind of keep the beasts away and I can have it mulched and, you know, keep the weeds down and all that stuff. And of course, the greenhouse itself, the second greenhouse that is coming this winter as well, hopefully, um, offers just an amazing opportunity for more growing space, more versatility, growing new varieties, maybe something a bit out there for me, something like a grapevine, something with a bit of permanence, um, because at the moment the one greenhouse I've got is just not really enough for my needs. One thing that has massively helped, despite a lot of the beds looking kind of weedy, a lot of that is because they are full of now flowers and things that I've left like this bronze fennel, which is amazing for hoverflies. There's some rudibecchia, which just adds lovely color. I've never grown these before. There's some verbena. This is also only a little one, but it's there and it's normally full of pollinators. There's leeks that I've left to go to flower. This massive row of calendula, which has been putting a smile on my face most of the year. The drought did do a bit of damage to that. But there's other little bits dotted around here and there, some antirhinums, is that what they're called? Snapdragons. Um, some feverfew plants, some, uh, what else is there? Little vetches and that kind of thing. And I just really, really love seeing little flowers here and there on the plot as well as the things I've planted myself for that kind of splash of color. It's been an all right year for the flowers. And the final silver lining of today's little bonus episode has got to be these corn plants. You can see they're towering above me. I'm only a little short ass, but still, they're looking pretty good now. And they've had a bit of a slow start. You know, I put them in a bit late. It was a really last minute suggestion from the Potty Mouth Garden Club. People said, give it a go in pots, because I didn't have the growing space for these, really. Um, and they've just started in the last week putting out their cobs. You've got their little tassels on, and I'm just really over the moon. It's so, so exciting whenever you grow something new for the first time. And even the fact that these are covered in black fly isn't getting me down. <laughs> so I'm hoping because these are popcorn, they'll have enough time to kind of ripen and come to fruition. But if they don't, it's not the end of the world. If they get got by badgers, it's not the end of the world. I'm just really glad to have something so kind of, so cool. It's a bit different for me, you know, there's a novelty to it. And um, it's just brilliant. 
So I think that concludes today's little bonus episode. I really hope you've enjoyed and let me know in the comments below what are kind of some of the silver linings for you if you're having a bad year, you know, what keeps you smiling because I think it's really, really important. Thank you ever so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again next time.